Oppo's Reno 8 series just got bigger with the launch of the new Reno 8T. Unlike the other Reno 8 models, the 8T is the most affordable phone in the series and is available in two variants. That's 8 gigs of RAM with either 128 or 256 gigs of internal storage. The model we have here today is the 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of internal storage variant, and it's also in the nicer looking orange colorway, which features a fiberglass leather back design. Well, I mean, it's a nicer sounding term compared to the overly used vegan leather that everybody else is touting about. But how does it fare against the Reno 8 5G, which we checked out earlier this year? More importantly, how does it perform? What up, guys? Miguel here of Yigatech, and let's find out. Let's start off with the design. Oppo decided to give the Reno 8T a makeover compared to the new Reno 8 and Reno 8Z, and we liked it. For starters, the boxy iPhone-like design has been ditched for these new curved corners. The companies ditched the rectangular bezel for the rear cameras, giving it a cleaner look. Now we get a round trim branded AI Portrait Camera. Whether you like the older rectangular design or this new one, I'll leave it up to you guys. Then there's the fiberglass leather back case. It feels nice to the touch, and personally, I wouldn't want to cover it with a phone case because you wouldn't have to worry about leaving nasty fingerprints either. But I am concerned about that dirt buildup in the long run. While the fiberglass leather back case is orange, the trim is gold. At the bottom, you get a 3.5mm audio jack together with the USB-C port and loudspeaker. Flip the Reno 8T over and you get a large 6.43-inch AMOLED Full HD Plus display with a 90Hz refresh rate. It's also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, so you know the screen is tough. But nah, -uh, that doesn't mean you can just drop it on purpose, right? The colors on screen look nice and vibrant and the 90Hz refresh rate makes the phone a joy to use when navigating through the interface. It's especially great for watching videos and gaming, which we will talk about in detail later. However, those black bezels are a teeny bit thicker when compared to the ones from the Reno 8 and the Reno 8 Pro, especially at the bottom chin. Like before, the front-facing camera is of the punch hole variety, and it is positioned at the upper left corner instead of the upper center on the Reno 8 Pro we reviewed last December. Speaking of cameras, the Reno 8T features a triple rear camera setup highlighted by a 100 megapixel main sensor, a 2 megapixel telephoto, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The images are sharp and the colors are accurate without much editing needed. As with most cameras on phones in this category, the quality does go down when you zoom in, so keep that in mind. For video, while it can record up to 1080p, it does not have built in optical image stabilization. So you better have a steady hand when you use the Reno 8T to shoot video. As for the front camera, we get a 32 megapixel sensor allowing you to take nice selfies and group photos. Powering the Reno 8T is a MediaTek Helio G99 chipset together with a Mali G57 MC2 GPU. The Helio G99 isn't that bad considering it's made out of the 6 nanometer processing technology, so it's still an efficient chipset. The only downer here is that it only supports 4G connectivity, which could be a bummer in 2023. Now I know, in our figuration, 8 gigs of RAM seems plenty enough for a smartphone, but we believe it's worth mentioning that the 8T can virtually increase accessible RAM by another 8 gigs, totaling to 16! While this model already comes with 256 gigs of internal storage, it is also expandable of up to 1 terabyte via the micro SD card slot. Perfect for those that want to capture lots of photos and videos or have a lot of games installed. When it comes to gaming, the Reno 8T can run games such as Mobile Legends, Call of Duty Mobile, and the like with ease thanks to its chipset and GPU. Even graphic intensive titles like Genshin Impact have no issues with this phone. But you do have to turn down the graphics settings a bit in order for it to run smoothly. Paired with the 90Hz refresh rate screen, this makes the phone a great gaming companion. And if you're not playing, it makes watching videos on YouTube, Netflix, or Amazon Prime more enjoyable as well. Out of the box, this phone runs on Android 13, skin with Oppo's updated ColorOS 13 on top. The battery on the Reno 8T is a 5000 mAh cell with support for 33 watt SuperVoo fast charging. As a result, the battery does last quite a while if you're mainly browsing through social media or the internet. 
and thanks to the 33 watt fast charging you can expect less downtime using the device for those of you interested in benchmark scores you should be seeing them on your screens now Overall, the Reno 8T is a great phone to use, especially if you want to upgrade to a 2023 model this February. The main downside to it, compared to the regular Reno 8 5G or even the Reno 8Z, is the lack of 5G connectivity. The Reno 8T also features a less powerful chipset and GPU. But still, you do get a newer OS, a 100 megapixel main camera, and a display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. More importantly, it will be a lot more affordable than the two aforementioned phones. Oppo has not released the official price of the Reno 8T, but we will update the description box with pricing once we get it. However, it's worth mentioning that it will be more affordable than the Reno 8Z. For comparison, the Oppo Reno 8 5G is priced at 27,999 pesos, while the Reno 8Z 5G is at 19,999 pesos. Now, if you aren't too fond of the loud orange color, Oppo also offers the Reno 8T in Midnight Black. The main difference being the black variant does not feature the fiberglass leather design. So, what do you guys think of the new Oppo Reno 8T? Is it a better choice compared to other models in the Reno 8 series? Let us know in the comment section below! And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.